Have you ever pondered the universal presence of martial arts and how it has shaped societies across the globe? From the ancient fighting traditions of Kalari Payatu in India to the modern combat techniques of Krav Maga in Israel, martial arts have been a pivotal force in shaping cultures and societies. As a testament to human ingenuity and survival instincts, these diverse combat styles have emerged from the necessity of self-defense, strategic warfare, and even spiritual development. Tracing back thousands of years, the inklings of martial arts can be found in every corner of the world, each with its own unique flavor and technique. We see the elegant and disciplined movements of Wushu in China, the rhythmic and acrobatic capoeira of Brazil, and the deadly precision of Silat in Indonesia. These are but a few examples of the rich tapestry of martial arts that have evolved over centuries, deeply woven into the fabric of our global heritage. Each style reflects not just a method of combat, but a philosophy, a way of life, and a story of the people who developed it. Join us as we embark on a journey through time, exploring the development of martial arts from the oldest to the newest styles. Our journey begins in the 12th century in the southern part of India with the martial art known as Kalaripayatu. Tracing its roots back to ancient periods, Kalaripayatu is one of the oldest martial arts styles still practiced today. It is not just a form of combat, but a lifestyle, a discipline that intertwines the physical, mental, and spiritual aspects of the practitioner. The techniques of Kalaripayatu are as diverse as the land it originates from. It incorporates strikes, kicks, grappling, as well as weaponry and healing techniques, making it a comprehensive combat system. It's a dance of power and agility, where each movement tells a story of ancient warriors and their battles. Kalaripayatu holds a special place in Indian culture. It's more than just a martial art. It's a part of their history, their folklore, and their identity. It has shaped many aspects of Indian culture, from traditional sports to military training. Kalari Payado set the stage for many martial arts styles to follow, influencing combat theories with its blend of hard and soft techniques. Fast forward to the 16th century, we land in China, the birthplace of Wushu. As one of the oldest martial arts forms, Wushu has roots that trace back to the Shaolin Monastery in the 7th century. Yet, it was during the 16th to 17th centuries that Wushu truly began to flourish, developing into a comprehensive system of fighting techniques and philosophies. Wushu, literally translated as martial arts, is more than just a physical practice. It's deeply ingrained in Chinese culture, symbolizing a form of discipline, resilience, and respect for tradition. Over centuries, it has evolved into various styles, each characterized by unique moves and principles, from the fluid elegance of Tai Chi to the explosive power of Sanda. Wushu showcases a fascinating spectrum of martial prowess, but the influence of Wushu isn't confined within the borders of China. Its philosophy and techniques have traveled far and wide, inspiring and shaping martial arts practices around the globe. From Hollywood action scenes to local dojos, traces of Wushu can be found in every corner of the world. Wushu's influence extends beyond China, shaping martial arts around the world. Our next stop takes us to the vibrant culture of Brazil, where rhythm meets combat in capoeira. Born from the struggle of enslaved Africans in the 16th century, capoeira is more than just a martial art. It's a captivating blend of dance, acrobatics, and music. It was a clandestine method of self-defense disguised as entertainment, a symbol of resistance against oppression. In this dance-like fight, capoeiristas circle each other, responding to the rhythm of the bear and bow, a single string musical instrument, and the beat of the atabaki, a large drum. 
The movements are fluid and graceful, yet powerful and precise. It's an enthralling spectacle of agility and strength, of strategy and improvisation. Today, capoeira holds deep cultural significance in Brazil. It's not just a martial art, but a celebration of freedom and resilience. It's a testament to the human spirit's ability to turn hardship into art, to transform struggle into a dance of defiance. Capoeira has also captured the world's imagination, with schools and performances popping up globally, making it a truly international martial art. Capoeira, a unique blend of martial arts and dance, demonstrates the creativity and resilience of the human spirit. In the modern world, we find martial arts adapting to the demands of today, as seen in the Israeli combat style, Krav Maga. Born out of the necessity to fight against threats in a war-torn region, Krav Maga was developed in the mid-20th century, combining elements of boxing, wrestling, and street fighting. Its philosophy is rooted in practicality and efficiency, focusing on neutralizing threats as quickly as possible. The techniques of Krav Maga are designed to be instinctive, simple, and easily learned, making it accessible to all, regardless of age or fitness level. Its emphasis on situational awareness and quick decision-making skills also makes it an ideal choice for self-defense. Krav Maga isn't confined to the borders of Israel. It has been adopted by military and law enforcement agencies around the world, including the FBI and various special forces units. These institutions value the system's emphasis on real-world applications and its effectiveness in high-stress situations. Krav Maga exemplifies how martial arts continue to evolve, meeting the needs of a changing world. Our exploration of martial arts around the world underlines the diversity and adaptability of these combat styles. Each style is a mirror reflecting the history, culture, and spirit of the people who developed it, adding another layer to the rich tapestry of global martial arts. We began our journey in the 12th century with Kalarapiyatu, an ancient Indian martial art that originated in Kerala. Kalarapiyatu is a testament to the age-old wisdom of Indian warriors, blending physical prowess, strategy, and spiritual discipline. This martial art has not only survived, but thrived, becoming the foundation for many other combat styles. Then, we ventured to China to explore Wushu, a martial art born in the Shaolin Monastery in the 7th century. Wushu is an elegant and powerful style, integrating both hard and soft techniques. It holds a special place in Chinese culture, symbolizing the harmony of body and mind, strength and flexibility. Our journey took us next to Brazil, where we danced to the rhythm of capoeira. This unique martial art combines elements of dance, acrobatics, and music, and was developed by African slaves as a form of resistance. Capoeira is more than a martial art. It is a vibrant celebration of freedom, resilience, and cultural identity. Finally, we arrived in the modern era with Krav Maga, a practical self-defense system developed by the Israeli military. Krav Maga exemplifies the adaptability of martial arts, integrating techniques from boxing, wrestling, and street fighting. It underscores the spirit of survival and adaptability. Desi martial arts, Kalaripayatu, Wushu, Capoeira, and Krav Maga each tell a unique story of human resilience, creativity, and the quest for self-improvement. They embody the spirit of their cultures and continue to evolve, reflecting the changing times and societies they exist within. In every corner of the world, martial arts continue to thrive, shaping societies and cultures, and reminding us of our shared human resilience and creativity.